Hello everybody, welcome back to the Central Powers Collab, where we have just started a new session. Yeah. So we might be a little bit rusty. <laughs> We've we got going? a glorious pocket to close. It's going excellently, because I'm about to see hundreds of thousands of Russians die, which uh, uh -huh. is probably yeah. going to yep. get me, like, I don't know, tagged on YouTube for something, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not very happy about that one. So we were just talking in the, uh, in the, in the build-up, in our preparation for this series, that uh, you've been cheating. You've been you've been glimpsing in your oh, yes. crystal ball into the future. And, oh uh, yes, I I always run simulations. <laughs> this is something I learned from Kerbal Space Program. You always simulate everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I've been I've been messing around with saves and stuff, uh -huh. and I have it on good authority that the Brits are going to want to invade. Yeah. Pretty soon, somewhere S somewhere in the Danzig Konigsberg area. Yeah, so we think that's a terrible idea. So we have a we have a theory of how to uh, deter that from happening, uh, which is I have yes, just started um, a justification of war on Denmark. So we yeah. take Jutland off Denmark, which means these straits here, the Danish belts, will go to contested for, uh, or in fact maybe just straight to enemy, which means they won't be able to send anything through there, limiting their attack to these two ports here, the one below Hamburg and the one in whatever that word is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you know, my northern neighbour who can't can't handle his ocean and can't get naval supremacy like I have. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Not even close. No. It's good. Gonna... Brits. They they know how to make boats. They do. Uh, they do. The wooden uh, wall uh, is pretty. Uh, pretty something effective. about living on an island, I suppose. I guess. Yeah. All right. So should we? Let's go down to speed one just to, to begin with. But uh, yeah. Should we get back into it? Let me let me get those fallback lines drawn. Yeah. Good idea. So we're going to try and defend the coasts a bit. My my thinking was, if I can take Serbia, then I should be able to reinforce help in the north, especially since Romania is hopefully about to join us with their about 30-something uh, divisions, which could be very handy. Mm -hmm. um, okay. We were also thinking basically a complete halt, although actually you are about to take Amsterdam. Which is pretty good. So I would keep pushing on Amsterdam, but basically yes, everywhere else except I... obviously the one just below Amsterdam, because you want to keep attacking there just to hold them in place. But probably a complete halt on operations everywhere else. Hmm. <clears throat> except maybe uh, Voges down in the south. Kind of what I've been correctly informed by a commenter is, of course, not the Maginot Line because the Maginot Line didn't exist yet. But the the bottom bit we were attacking yes, from yes. what was that? Toulouse? Is that Toulouse? Toulouse House? I can't see. Mulhouse, there we go. I'd mm -hmm. keep that attack going just because that's a fort province that you're about to take, which would be very nice to control. Mm hmm. Yeah. Plus, if you could control yeah, that. Get, Sorry, go ahead. Get the forts, that would, or the, uh, yeah, the trenches, much, that would be perfect. Make it much easier. All right, speed one. Let's go. Mm hmm. So, we're going to try and finish closing this pocket with a bit of luck. It's looking pretty good. Just one more province we've got to take. And I've got an 84, which should last for only another 40 days. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm going to uh, try to focus my troops in that area. What on earth has happened with these lines? That's totally wrong. There we go. It's a bit better. Okay, just finishing off the Serbs. I've got Belgrade, so they are 70% of the way towards capitulation. There's basically just one of their places that I still need to take. And then I will okay. uh, I'll have them. But they are putting up a stern resistance. Speed one, I am immediately regretting. Do you want to go up to speed two? <laughs> uh, it's I, fine if you don't. I just realized that they haven't assigned a lot of things yet. I, I made the fallback lines and then I didn't actually assign troops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help as much. <laughs> no. You've missed uh, the furthest west port. And there's one in Friesland as well. Yeah, I'm I'm working on it. I'm going west to east. Oh, fair enough. You could also join the uh, the two guys north of Amsterdam. Could join in the assault, or even they could try and flank Amsterdam a bit by going down the other side. They're currently not just a bit inactive. See, so we were looking at Italy's focuses. Uh, Amsterdam. Yes. They look like they are about sixty days away from declaring war on me, which is uh, well us. Unit can now enter province, which is not so good. Uh, is it an organ? No. What's the yellow bar again? Yellow. Strength. It's kind of orange, I think. No, 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 no. There's a blue and yellow next after the icon. It's next to the rank. 
or experience. Oh, in, in there, yellow, that one is yeah. XP. Progress to the, next, okay. to, to the next rank. Yeah, I don't understand why these can, units cannot enter the province. There's three on the coast. Yeah. Here, um, where pause are it for about? a second, we can take a look. Yeah, where are we um, Next to Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. If I tried to directly order them in, they can't go. And to they Amsterdam. have these yellow exclamation marks. To Amsterdam? Yeah. It's probably a yeah, lake. Yeah, It's probably a lake. Hmm. That lake might yeah, actually okay. just sneak it in. Looks, yeah, it does. It looks like a lake or something. It does just sneak okay. in there. Yeah, I, I'd recommend flanking anyway, because if you could get down to the Hague, that'd be great. <clears throat> yeah. I'll see what I can do. Cool. All right, speed two. You've got your guys assigned now, haven't you? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Good. I've managed to flank uh, three Russian divisions. Not flank, sorry, pocket three Russian divisions down in the south there. There we go. Nice. Let's see if I can help you out taking these guys on. Nice. Yeah, I'm mostly just trying to close that one, one spot. Yeah. Ooh, Battle of Amsterdam. Another 14 days. Could happen. Could happen. Okay, still trying to cross rivers down here. Not the most wise thing I ever did. It's very yeah. tricky, the river situation down in Serbia. Okay, how about down here? Hmm. Maybe a push here? Hmm, it's tricky. Uh, it's tricky uh. business. Hold. Gosh, there's so many freaking Serbian divisions. They're very tricky. <laughs> Trixy is what they are. Right, have I got any more guys coming out soon? That I could yeah, rush deploy just to defend ports. I can't believe I forgot port defense. I rag on and on about how important it is to defend ports in my series. <laughs> I completely uh -huh. neglected it in this one. Ooh, the pocket's almost done. 92, 95 for centers. Closing those pockets. Nice. And the first encircled guys down there getting, uh, getting killed, I see. Very nice. The opening of the Panama Canal. Cool. Didn't know that happened during World War II. It was interesting. Seems like the world would have been a bit distracted. Whoever built that was felt very upset, I'm sure, by the fact that attention was drawn away from his accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of an American project, kind of. So, yeah. I mean, they didn't really they didn't want to get involved in the whole World War One thing. No, we'd rather just dig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm very satisfied that I'm managing to control the Adriatic. It uh, might make me change my mind on whether I should be actually producing any ships. I think I should just produce a couple of mm. coastal subs. They're so cheap. Let's build. Oh crap, I chose the wrong guy. Bad luck. Oh well. Yeah, yes, fine. Pocket. Political power isn't, isn't a huge deal. No, not for now anyway. No. It's just a I'm very early full. game. So, um, yeah. we finished the pocket. Which is pretty awesome. I'm oh, just, good, I'm good. Just redrawing some front lines and. Uh, uh, yeah, I need to out. do that too. 21 divisions? What? Why are you guys involved? Oh gosh, my front lines have gone very strange. Let's, uh, let's reorder some, <laughs> of this, some of this insanity. Got them going into. Oh no, no, not at all what I meant to do. There we go. I really don't need a front line on Belgrade. I've already taken Belgrade. <laughs> It's all going a bit nuts down here. There we go. Okay. That looks much better. Alright, let's go. I'm just going to redeploy around this front, and then uh, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to close this pocket once and for all. Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> just reassigned a bunch of people uh -oh. off my front line. Yeah, um, something happened, and all my fallback lines disappeared, and all my troops went into one army. Ah. Right, definitely worth looking at paused <laughs> while you fix that. Then, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Bad but luck. I'm gonna. I'm you must gonna have just have somehow selected everyone in one army and put them in the other one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like ninety percent certain I didn't do that, but mm. you never know. Yeah. I'm gonna assign a couple more people to the Italian front since their uh, their war in Europe policy is going on. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so they have a choice to join the Entendre or join the Central Powers, and I'm, you know, 90% sure they'll go straight for join the Central. Sorry, the uh, the Entendre. Although they have some other power, other other significant ones they could do as well first, so they might do them. We'll see. 
Okay, push into Serbia continues successfully now. Much better than it was going earlier. Good, good. Some counter offensives are paying off quite nicely. Is there a hotkey for fallback lines? Yeah, C. C. If you look at Perfect. all the available orders, ignoring spearhead, from left to right it said X, C, uh, oh, okay, yeah. V. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's kind of made that sound like there were going to be more coming, but no, that was, that was all of them. <laughs> Here. Yeah. And then what is it? It's like control click on an art order to select the army? Uh, control right click oh. selects all the assigned units, yeah. Uh, okay. The quick way to assign people, by the way, I can't remember which of my videos it is, I explain it, but there's a really easy way to assign units quickly to a bunch of fallback lines. I should yeah. probably just. I've just been. Well, most of the troops were already there, so I've just been like taking. Ah, yeah, that works. Troops in the area and assigning them to a new army and then giving them a fallback line. Fair enough, that makes sense. The easy way if you want to assign like 50 troops to 50 different fallback lines is you select all 50, assign them all to one, deselect one, assign them all to the next, deselect one, assign them all to the next, deselect one, so on. Mm -hmm. It uh, makes it similar to EU4. Yeah, more uh, CK2 raiding. Have you played any CK2? No. Well, that's that's one of those paradox games. I would love to play it, but also it looks so goddamn complicated. I have no idea. Like it's it's going to be a whole another EU4 where it's going to take me three months to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Well, what you should do is figure out what you're doing like in a three-way collab with me and Lambert. That would be fun, and we could teach you. And we'd have like a sure. non-aggression pact where we're not allowed to murder you, but you're allowed to murder us. That would make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's lots of yeah. Just pack. wait until I get enough confidence to try and attack one of you guys, and then you can just crush me. <laughs> That's usually how how all of my multiplayer sessions go. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good to unpause. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can, right? Oh, did I pause? No, uh, I don't. No, but uh, either of us can pause after a certain period, I think. Oh, okay. At least that's how it is in E4. Yeah. To assume that it's the same, but uh, I think in this case it is. Oh, I'm missing yeah, the troops that I'm sending to the uh, the Italians. Should I justify? Should I justify on Denmark as well? No, no or... point. <clears throat> yeah. Literally You're no reason. Pull me in anyway. Yeah. There's literally yeah. no reason except that it would make taking their land in the peace deal very slightly less expensive. But yeah. you know, we're going to take the whole world out of peace deal, so it really doesn't matter. Unless you're just yeah. desperately trying to get yeah. one up on me in the peace deal, which uh, would be a bit cruel of you. I think we should agree well, now. Looks, Sorry, go ahead. It looks like I did get one more coastal province down here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to push much farther. No? Amsterdam, Amsterdam would be is... the only thing that I'd uh, advise taking. Oh, the Hague has a... Uh, one guy in it, I think. Yeah, the problem is I need Amsterdam to at least flank yeah. the Hague. Well, try holding that. I'm not sure. Try holding that for now. Yeah. I would withdraw from Eisenhoven if I were you. Back across the river. Eisenhoven. Yeah. The uh, attack on Luxembourg's going nowhere. Oh, well, yeah, no. The, they keep doing that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I unassigned them from that, and they just decided to attack again. They probably just tried to move north through Luxembourg or something. Could are be. Are you witnessing the destruct, the glorious destruction going on in Warsaw, by the way? Two of my divisions are about to wipe uh, out like, no. most of theirs. <laughs> nice. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I just kind of assigned 12 troops to hold things in there. Well, I figured you yeah. had your, your attack line. Fair enough. Makes sense. Yeah, that's okay. weird. It consolidated three armies all into one at the same time. Really? That's really weird. Y yeah. You've got uh, a couple of places. With In fact, I have, I think I have what I would, you know, not necessarily call spare, but I have some troops. So why don't I help you out with your uh, port defenses? Oh, I, the... I'm, I should be okay. Yeah? Okay. I wouldn't worry about my port defenses. The front lines are more important. Okay. I'm gonna try and take Amsterdam then. <laughs> Just with these five guys, let's see if I can see if I can tip the scales. Be fun. Not saying you're doing something terribly wrong taking Amsterdam or anything. Just I mean, you know, extra troops. Oh, I just assume that I'm doing everything wrong. <sighs> I mean, it's been so long. Seriously, yeah. it's been like three months since I played the game. So, it's like, fair enough. 
I'm probably doing about as bad as possible. I'm sure that's not true. So yeah, my plan is to, once I've taken Brestle Twusk, or however you say that name, which I'm sure isn't remotely like that, my plan <laughs> is to uh, hold on the Eastern Front while I take out Serbia, and then use the troops that were in Serbia to bulldoze through Russia. Also, I intend to spend some production power on uh, armoured cars, more production power on armoured cars. I've got uh, a couple of hundred in the bank, yeah, 250 in the bank that should be able to do something good. Hmm. Which uh, could be very handy. Yeah. I do like armoured cars in this mod. They're fun. They're, they're the light tanks I always wished light tanks would be in vanilla. I never enjoyed mm. light tanks in vanilla, really. It just didn't... Ooh, blimey. It's a big French fleet I'm facing. There's 66 of them. I'm oh, winning, they, they're winning, coming for you now. Yeah, but I'm winning so far. We'll see. My, uh, my general yeah, this, is a bit better. This whole... um. C battle interface, I have never understood it at all. I just look at the kill counts. <laughs> there's not much to understand. <laughs> that's that's all I understand. Yeah, there's very little to see, as far as I'm concerned, in the uh, in this that screen. Wow, that was a bad fight. Yeah. I lost quite a few there. All right, let's. Uh, oh. Yeah, let's just stand back, stand off, let them attack us for a while from the sea. Hopefully, I'll be able to just use that to kill a bunch of them because they'll be uh, mm -hmm. wasting lives on amphibious invasions that were doomed from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, amphibious invasions don't go well if you actually defend the ports. Alright, how long till the war in Denmark? Another 200 days, so it's going to be a while before I can relieve that particular burden from you, I'm afraid. Eh, yeah, that's okay. The fact that we're not fascist I mean... makes it much harder to... Oh, it's a good point! Yeah, you should do the fabrication, I'm an idiot. You're fascist. <laughs> I've cancelled mine. Yeah. If you do yours, because uh, yours, yours will be like 25 days. Doesn't matter what I pick to conquer, right? Nope. It, as I say, it just makes that thing slightly easier to take in a walk in a, uh, a peace deal. That's it. <clears throat> well, then I guess I'll put their capital on there. <laughs> cool. But yeah, making something cheaper in a peace deal only matters if you're kind of competitive with the other person taking stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only the only thing it does. Okay, how long is yours going to take? Uh, yeah, thirty-five days, no problem. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long. So. What is our game plan with Russia? Do okay, you well, want to go for like Kiev and I go for Minsk or something? Yeah, Try and knock out as many victory points as possible? This divvying up of the amount of the front line seems good to me. Their uh, national unity is low, but that's not what's going to happen. Basically, I don't know how far we have to push. I think it's that river. Mm -hmm. uh, the big one north of you. I think basically once we get there, they start crumbling. Mm -hmm. This okay. is very historical, by the way, our uh, encircling of their army. I don't know if it happened here. I think, In fact, I think it didn't. But the uh, the Russian army was encircled because of terrible tactics from the Tsar, which was what part mm -hmm. of what led to the uh, revolution. So this is very, very historical of us, which is entirely intentional, of course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Poke yep. back out into the Adriatic. I'm down to 30, uh, 34 ships from a previous much higher count. <laughs> 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 Let's see what we can do. Here's the... Yeah, I keep finding a bunch of their submarines, and it's just, you know, if I can just keep wiping out little squads of their subs, that seems, yeah. seems worthwhile. Yes, Engineer Company 2 researched. Very nice. Let's get better field hospitals. I have a sneaking suspicion this war might involve quite a few casualties. Can't imagine why. Your attacks into Russia are pretty futile at the moment, I think. You're attacking kind of like 5 Yeah, or 50. I think it's still on. I'd call that off yeah. until you've at least got the troops yeah. down from this pocket. How are you? Yeah. Make sure you get some troops on the, uh, the Danish border as well. Or um, actually, if I close this pocket, I could handle Denmark for you. Sure. I mean, I can I can pull off a couple from the Western Front. I don't. There's so many trenches and things there. I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah. Fair enough. Makes sense. It is very difficult to push against a well-fortified position in this. Mm hmm. Your attack in the south of the Western Front isn't working out. Is it still attacking? I yeah. thought I turned it off, but I must have missed a, missed a troop. Oh, it's the the cars. It's hard to tell with the cars whether they're attacking or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair enough. <clears throat> no, I don't think I am going to be able to take answer down. Oh, well. <laughs> Taking Denmark will be quite difficult, by the way. Have you got naval supremacy in the Baltic? No. 
No, yeah, not even miles. close. Fair enough. Uh, enough. Uh, are you at a good place, though? Uh, yes, go for it. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Um, things are a little bit hot. We're, <laughs> we're a little spread thin, but I think we'll be able to work it out. Right. So thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Till then. Bye, guys.